This video is going to cover the installation of the new 2017 screen set for UCCNC. It should be a pretty quick video as the installation is pretty simple. We're going to start out here in, uh, with the default screen set, default UCCNC installation. We're going to want to go to the configuration screen. And then, uh, then the profiles. We're going to type in a new profile. I'm just going to use install here. I don't recommend using 2017 as the profile name because it can get confusing due to some uh, other files called 2017 in the screen set. So pick a name. I like to use router for my uh, in, uh, profile name, but any name will work. Check the box to create a shortcut on the, shortcut on the desktop and then click the create new profile button after a few seconds you'll see that your profile was created and once that's done you can uh, get out of the UCCNC we're gonna go back to the desktop and run the installation file uh, for the screen set once the wizard pops up pretty much just follow along uh, read the license agreement and agree to it and then uh, your path so UCCNC should already show up on the screen. It should find it automatically. If it doesn't, you can search for it. Pick a drive that it's on, and uh, or you can navigate to the folder. Note that if you have, uh, if you actually click on the UCCNC installation folder, you'll see two two copies of UCCNC, and you don't want that. So back up just to the main drive or folder that UCC is installed in. And once you get to there, you can go ahead and continue on with the installation. It only takes a second. When it's just about done, it'll tell you that the installation's not yet finished. We have to copy a few files because the macros go into a profile folder and we don't know the profile name in the installer. So we have to manually do that after the installation completes. So we finish up the wizard. And then we're going to go to the UCCNC installation profile folder and we're going to open the uh, 2017 screen set macros folder where our files for the uh, screen set have been installed to copy those go to our new macro profile folder that we just created and paste the macros into that folder for the profile and overwrite them all. I think the only one that over gets overwritten is the M6 file. All the rest are new. There's quite a few files in the screen set that control all the buttons. So that's pretty much the uh, extent of the installation actually that we have to do. Then we just have to set it up to start with the right screen set. And to do that we're going to stay in the profile folder and we're going to open up the profile that we just created which is the .pro file. So we're going to open that up in Notepad. I right click on it and open with Notepad. And then once it's open you'll see up at the top at the second line that the default screen set is what we want to change. Main screen file name. We're going to change it from default screen set to 2017 and then go to File, Save and then that's all there is to it. Now the screen set's ready to use. So we're going to uh, start up the UCCNC from the desktop with the new icon from the new shortcut that we created. And then it'll start up and you should see, pick your uh, motion controller if you're in demo mode. And then once it starts up, it'll be in the 2017 screen set. <clears throat> Real quick, there's a couple new uh, features. There's a new this screen set requires a new version, a test version that was just released. It has a couple neat new features. One thing is that the mouse over the uh, opens up the jogging tab automatically, but there's a new feature to disable that. So you go to the settings screen right in the middle, disable jog panel pop up on mouse over, and then you'll see that the jog panel does no longer opens with the mouse. You now have to click on it to open it which is really nice because no more accidental opening of the jog panel when you don't want it to. And another new feature is we now have sliders in UCCNC 
and I use those to control the overrides, the feed rate and the spindle override. And then we added a reset button. The, uh, the, the slider amount, the minimum and maximum, can be edited very easily with the screen editor. Just entering the minimum value and the maximum value. So you have a the screen editor in UCC and C is pretty nice and it's easy to use. So you can make some quick changes if you don't like the default values. So at the end, that's a pretty much all there is to installation on this 2017 screen set. So thanks for watching.